All right, guys, after that uh, match between uh, Rusoff and uh, Miz versus uh, Ryder and Darren Young, Darren Young surprisingly got the win with a chicken wing chokehold on uh, the Miz. Yeah. Uh, the, no titles exchange hands, of course. It's just a filler match. And it was just another match where everybody got in. They all got the peacock a little bit in display, and uh, somebody won after about four or five minutes. Now we have another match. It's the New Day versus uh, the Wyatts. Hopefully this is something a little bit better match-wise. And they're starting off with Bray, and he's intimidating. Uh, Xavier, who's looking scared as shit. And the New Day's already out there wearing raw shirts. Bray, <coughs> Bray looks pretty excited. Hopefully this is a lot better match because the matches have not been uh, worthwhile tonight. So uh, hang in there let you know how it goes. They just mentioned during this match that the Wyatts will not be drafted as a team. They will all be drafted separately. If they break up the Wyatts again, I, I, I swear I'm going to lose it. They just started getting good again. How is it the Wyatts can be separate but New Day and the, the social outcasts aren't? So far, Bray is just dominating this match. He's nobody else has been in this match except for uh, Bray and Xavier, and he's just pounding the P at Xavier. And I still uh, gotta say I love that Bray is dreadlocking his hair now. Gives him a way better look than the greasy, watered down hair style that he used to have. Well, Xavier at the very end started to get some offense in. Uh. And Bray spider walked and freaked him out, and then he did a sister Abigail, and Bray beat Xavier. I thought it was the the, the Wyatts versus New Day. It was just Bray versus uh, Xavier, but it was a dominating match by uh, Bray Wyatt, no doubt. I don't know what's coming up next. They're not saying anything. They're just showing the Wyatts celebrating. Interesting match up here. We come back from that match and we got Kane sitting in the ring after the commercial. And Kevin Owens is an opponent. And he's coming out jaw jacking to both of the general managers and Steph and Shane. Obviously because why aren't I not picked yet? He's screaming, what the hell are you waiting for? I'm Kevin Owens. <laughs> And Sami Zayn comes running out to jump him at, on his way to the ring. All right. These guys got to have a blow-off feud at Battleground because this is getting annoying now. I want to see him fight Kane. I don't want to see this idiot ruin another match. And then they're not going to fight. They're fighting each other. So, yeah. Throw him to Kane. There you go. Kevin Owens throws Zane to Kane. But Kane doesn't like taking orders. Now he grabs Owens. He choke slams them both. Hmm. This better not be the end of this match. Never heard a bell ring, and the ref never uh, disqualified anybody. Kane's leaving. So basically, we just had a 50-year-old wrestler bury both of the new top talents in this stupid feud they're having where they just keep jumping each other. I wanted, wanted to see Kane and Owens. Now I'm kind of pissed. All right, here comes the next draft picks. Well, the number one show always gets the number one pick. And Raw chooses the underdog from the underground, Sammy Zayn. I can't believe this, bitch. After what you just witnessed, Sammy Zayn. So this is obviously going to be a part of that feud because now he's going to bring up all the time how he was even drafted before Kevin Owens. Do not pick Kevin Owens. Next pick. 
We choose the face of fear, Bray Wyatt. Wow. Oh, we talked about this earlier, the possibility of the Wyatt. So Zane to Raw, Bray to SmackDown. Officially, Bray Wyatt, the newest member of the SmackDown roster. I got quite, my Bray beard's coming in pretty good. <laughs> I'm glad you guys took the Wyatt family or Bray Wyatt. They're a little scary to me. Um, but our, our, our next pick. Uh, Stephanie, I think we need to remind Shane and Daniel that there are women available in this draft. And we intend to make our next draft choice one of the faces of Raw. Sasha Banks. Now, every Monday night, Raw is boss. Sasha Banks! I got pretty good guesses. Wait. Oh, see what her stupid shit. <laughs> Even Foley's doing it. With the women, uh, but I think you can tell the best woman superstar, which is who we're gonna pick right now, and that's the last kicker, Becky. Ah, uh. I like this choice, Becky Lynch, who burst on the scene at the start of the Ben Divas. Revolution. So, Becky Lynch to smack them with a women's revolution. I like it too, Michael. She's coming to smack down live. So is there a women's division on SmackDown? Because otherwise she's SOL. And she's brand new. I think that was my bad for tipping my hat, so I'm gonna look change the plans here. I'm not even wearing a hat. What in the world? It's his luggage. I think it's his briefcase. Alright, you can confer with me on this. He doesn't have a garment bag, he has a garbage bag. I didn't even do that legible there. He's still there. Proving commodity. Okay, go for it. Go for it, You want to do it? No, you do it. Okay. Raw picks. Chris Jericho. Chris Jericho. I couldn't catch what the crowd was just chanting, but. One, two, three. Chris Jericho is gone in a few months. This is so stupid. Unless they sign him to a new deal. I can't believe that Mick Foley had the smarts to grab Jericho. That was a great move right there. So far it's been great. I mean, it's been awesome, especially for SmackDown. And you know, underway... All right, guys. ...which is your companion experience over on the WWE Network where they're breaking down the draft all night long. I think they're going to commercial again. I'll hit you back up.